recognizing you, you've gone up against some pretty good defenses early in the season here. Do you guys need a performance like this on offense where it's really balanced and really efficient? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, we want to play well every single game, but, uh, you know, I felt like we were right on the cusp of really getting after somebody. I think I said that last week, too, is, you know, we would have a couple of drives, it seems like the last couple of games where, you know, we're moving, we're moving, and then something happens and, and puts us back. So, you know, I thought we were primed and ready for kind of a breakout performance. And, you know, I think we're, we're kind of learning the blueprint of what we want to be on offense even more and more every week. And, and uh, you know, anytime we're able to put up a lot of points, you know, with our defense, we're going to get after some people. What have you learned about your whole line specifically the last couple of weeks? Uh, you know, ran the ball really well the last two weeks, and that makes my job a lot easier. And, uh, you know, other than a couple holding calls, which, I'm, you know, we'll see about those on tape. But, uh, you know, felt like I was able to set my feet and go through my reads. And you know, I think when we can do that, we got some pretty good guys, a receiver. And, uh, you know, I was giving them accurate balls so they can do something with it. You mentioned the figuring out the blueprint of, of what you want to be. How would you describe that at, at this point? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not exactly sure what that is, nor do I really want to spill the beans on that. But, you know, I think we, we want to stay balanced, obviously. And, and uh, we're definitely a team that wants to run the ball well. And that just, like I said, that just makes my job a lot easier. Your defense down run was that the call in the huddle, ad lib, and what did you see? Uh, was, yeah, it was quarterback draw. Uh, it was a perfect look. You know, they do this weird thing with their Will Backer. We're three by one. They want to have him go play over number one to the boundary. So it was an empty box. They did a twist, just went around it. And, you know, I think 16 wanted to come and kill me. So just kind of just made a really unathletic move and I was able to score. What would you say that, uh, that Miles means to the team, Gasket? Uh, yeah, I mean, Miles went in doubt and handing the ball off to Miles is, is kind of my thing on some of these RPO stuff. And, you know, unless we get the look that we really want. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think he's a guy that I've, I think I've said this for a really long time is the biggest thing Miles does is he turns like three yard runs into seven yard runs. And so that doesn't seem like a big deal. But, you know, second and three and second and seven are a lot different uh, from a play calling standpoint. And, you know, he's he's definitely got the home run capability, but I would say that's the biggest thing that, that he does that's unique to him. Have you talked to Cody Pickett this week at all or heard anything? No, I don't, I don't know Cody really at all. Uh, uh, you know, I know a lot of the, the Husky quarterbacks that come around, but I've, I haven't met him. When did you find out that, or when did you realize that you became the all-time leading passer at Washington? Um, our, our SID told us, told me, I guess. You had a couple of streaks where you threw 11 completions. You did that twice. Did you feel like you were like throwing a no hitter or something? Did you feel really in the groove? Uh, I didn't totally know that I, I had, uh, you know, had so many or high completion percentage or anything like that. I kind of playing it play by play, and then I kind of randomly looked up just to see it, and it was I think we were like, you know, 19 of 20, and I think I had two compl incompletions, and one of them was missing a wide open out route. So I think if I would have gotten that, I think we would have gotten a record or something for NCAA. So. Uh, we'll, we'll get better at that. <laughs> was that the hour to Fuller? Yeah. Did you talk to him after that? Because he said he should have caught that. Yeah, I told him it was my fault. Uh, cause I, I definitely underthrew it. Just kind of, I don't know, just missed it. Last couple, you've, uh, you've, you've got a stock answer for all these record-breaking things that you continue to do in your life. But can, can you reflect a little bit on what it means to get this one? And, yeah, I think it's cool to be with, be along with some of those names of you know guys that have accomplished some pretty cool things here and stuff like that. But you know, my whole thing with records now going forward is, you know, I hope some other Washington quarterback comes along and breaks those too, because you know I think that's that's kind of you know Cody Pickett, someone I'll probably meet at this point just because he had that record and I was able to break it, and hopefully somebody comes along and breaks my record too.